FrameMaker 2019 New Features Setting Bookmarks and Tags One of the biggest changes in FrameMaker 2019 is the completely rewritten PDF engine located in the Publish Pod. By moving PDF creation to the Publish Pod, it's now easy for you to reuse your PDF settings across many separate projects. However, there are two settings, PDF bookmarks and PDF tags, which are dependent on the specific styles in a document and must therefore be set within each document and stored within its document properties. You'll find controls for both bookmarks and tags in the Format, Document, PDF Setup dialog. In the Bookmarks tab, I've chosen the styles that I want to be used as my PDF bookmarks, and I've used the bookmark level arrows to set my indent so that I have a nesting of sorts for those styles. Within the PDF itself, I've chosen to create PDF bookmarks, and I can also choose to expand bookmarks through a specific level, perhaps level 2. In the middle tab, you can see the settings that will be used if I'm using the distiller processing option for PDF. Note, this dialog would only be used for the previous distiller method of processing. If you're taking advantage of the improved faster engine in the publishing pod, use the tags settings instead. New to FrameMaker 2019 is this version of the tags dialog. This allows me to map different types of tags for 508 compliance with specific styles that I've used inside of my document. For instance, I can take my first level headings, choose heading 1, and add that to the list. If there's something in there that I don't like, I can use the minus to remove it. For each tag type, you can define specific tags or use prefix and suffix pattern recognition to apply tags programmatically. By default, FrameMaker is set to automatically recognize paragraphs with a TOC suffix and map them to a TOC tag. When I'm happy with my settings, just hit the set button. My settings will be stored inside the active file. And if I'd like to reuse these settings, I can always import as part of my template by going to File, Import, Formats, and specifically choosing the Document Properties option. For a personalized demo or questions, please write to us at techcom at adobe.com.